Hello guys, welcome back. This is K. Hayes for After Effects, the third channel. Today I want to show you how to fracture 3D title in 3ds Max, then export to After Effects by Element 3D. Let's start. First, go to Shapes, create a text, write the text here to JAE just after effects then go to area change bold and go to modify and click here right here what bevel zoom in press on slowly extrude turn on the level 2 slowly extrude like this and now turn on the angle snap Rotate, zoom out, scale down the size, and move up. Go to create, create a plan here. So press T for the top view, press W for the move, and um, don't forget, save the project to desktop, write one, and select just after effects and go to parameter list and select the ray fire ray fire the ray fire is a plugin you must install in 3ds max and then add the 3d title just after effects and add the plan to the static kinematic go to fragments make the fragments then fragment and now Select just after effects, move it down here. Need more move down here. So go to material, apply the 3D, apply material on the 3D text, and then preview. Wait for the simulation. Looking good. So now back to create this simulation. Okay, finish. Select all of them and then go to scripting and go to run a script search in google the script export to obj sequence script open select a start from zero to 100 create to desktop and uh, create a new folder double click write fracture save the project and then export wait for the one frame and wait for the second frame and third frame and like this so here is finished the obj sequence exported so now go to after effects create a new project create a new composition then right here 3d animated animated press enter and go to layer new solid press ok and now go to effects video copilot element 3d so wait go to element 3d effect control scene setup and uh, go to file import 3d sequence from desktop here is new folder select from frame 0 press open ok here is you can play into element 3d play here is set to one zoom in and go to presets physical set white color for the floor and select the jae select the golden color for this one and go to environment select a different environment um bright environment 
looking good and now press ok ok right click create a new camera for this scene 24 millimeter and um, go to group 1 particle look make a huge size so set the camera position and don't forget save your project project one yes create a new background right here background press enter and move it end of the layers select again the background control shift uh, y on keyboard for the solid setting press ok and now select element 3d layer and go to render setting lighting select 360 select again control shift y select color play now Okay, don't forget turn on the ambient occlusion for the 3D shadows. Go to ambient occlusion, enable ambient occlusion, set the quality 64, and uh, don't forget for the motion blur, turn on the motion blur. Good and go to camera setting turn off depth of field turn off select again go to additional lighting rotation here is play and create a new null object so parent with the camera to null object, turn on the 3D switch for the null and press R for the rotation, stopwatch, go to second four, play now, here is. play good select all of them uh, without background select all these three layers pre-compose write 3d and uh, save the project and right click time reverse layer so now render okay guys there is the final result of the project uh, don't forget like subscribe the channel see you next time